Good morning, boys and girls. Today, we're gonna do a small group about shapes. So we're gonna go through some shapes and we're going to name them. And we're gonna kinda look at them and discover how many lines it takes to make a shape, all right? Each shape is a little bit different than the next. And I'll show you a real world example of each shape, okay? So the first shape I'm gonna show you is what shape? A circle, that's right. A circle is one line that is continual. It doesn't break with a point, okay? And this is a circle. A good real world example of a circle is a ball. A ball is a great example of what a circle is, okay? Later we'll talk about more detailed of what a, what like a ball is. But for this purpose right now, it's the shape that matters. It is the shape of a ball. A circle is the shape of a ball. So the next one is an oval. And again, an oval is just one continual line that goes around its shape. It does not have any points, so there's no breaks in it. So an example of a real world oval is gonna be this shape. What is that? A football, that's right, it is a perfect oval. The next shape is a diamond. And the fancy name is rhombus. So everybody say it with me, rhombus. And a rhombus has four sides because there's four points. Let's count them. One, two, three, four. And diamonds can be this way. Anyway, this way or this way, this is a diamond or a rhombus. A real world example of that in nature is is a fish, see, right here, the shape of a diamond. It's a good example of what a real world example of a rhombus is. The next shape is this guy. What is it? A triangle, and a triangle has three points, so there's three lines, so let's count them. One, two, three this is a triangle. And a good real world example of that is one of my favorites, pizza. Pizza is the shape of a triangle because it has three sides. One, two, three. This is a perfect triangle. The next shape is a heart. And a heart is one continual line. And a good example of that is a Valentine's. This is a Valentine's box of candy. This is a heart. Next shape is a square. Everybody's favorite square. And a square has how many points? Just look at it and see if you can tell me without me telling you the answer. Okay, so let's count. One, two, three, four. It is four lines. And what makes it a square is the fact that each line is the exact same height, okay? That's what makes it a square. And a good example of that is this present is a perfect square. Another good example of that is a pizza box. A pizza box is the perfect square. So one, another shape is a rectangle. And a rectangle is similar to a square because it has four lines, which we can count them as one, two, three, four. But what makes a rectangle different than a square is that it has two lines right here that are short and two lines that are long, one, two. And rectangles can look horizontally and they can be vertically. The example I have for you on the back is going to be a cell phone or a tablet is a good example of a rectangle. Another one could be uh, a box of cereal. That's a good rectangle, okay? Another, the last shape I have is a star. Everybody loves the star. And the star is, has five points. One, two, 
three, four, five, and lots of lines. And we can count them as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten lines on a star. And they're all straight. And in this case, they're all the same length, but stars can have different lengths of their arms as well. A real a good world example of that is a sea star. Sea, this sea star has five arms. One, two, three, four, five. So those are all the basic shapes that we can talk about. And then as we move on, we can talk about other shapes that occur that are more of a 3D shape and have a more specific name to them than just being a circle. So today, what I'd like you to do is go around your house, it's raining outside, we can't go outside, maybe it's raining where you are as well, and you can find something in your house that's the shape of a square. Remember the square has four sides that are all the same length and four points. So find something in your home that's a square. Take a photo of it and send it to me. I'd like to see what you find. So that's it. And we'll do another small group tomorrow. All right, boys and girls? It was fun talking to you. And I will see you later at our Zoom meeting. So I'll talk to you later. Bye.